I am Mkalipa and I am Karen. My family came to live in St. Paul, Minnesota, 11 months ago in 2040. Before we came to the U.S., we lived in Burma. We could not live there because of war. I don't know exactly what happened because I was only a baby. But I heard that if a Burmese soldier came to our village, they killed our current people and animals. They did everything without permission. My daddy, father, and older brother were killed by Burmese soldiers. Children who lived in Burma didn't have the opportunity to go to school because they had to move all the time to save their lives. So our family could not live in Burma and we moved to Thailand. I like to live in Thailand because we had an opportunity to go to school. It is poor country but I love to live there. I had already passed a high school diploma in Thailand and knew a little bit about English because I had studied it in class before. I finished high school when I was 18 years old. I was very young, so I continued to study at college. I was so happy because I had a chance to go to college. I had to try hard to finish my college for four years. I had to do internship for 10 months at Massachusetts. For my internship, I had to work with my coordinator and help them for training. I gave training to people who came for Caribbean. I graduated college in 2012. I really do love to wear my correct clothes. I bought some correct clothes with me when I came here when I lived in Italy. I wore Korean clothes when I went to the church and on Korean New Year's Day. When I was a student, I had to wear Korean clothes when I went to school. Monday and Friday, I had to wear white shirt and black skirt. The wasp shirt and black skirt wore student uniforms. Especially on Wednesday, I had to wear my current clothes. Current clothes looked very beautiful and nice. We had many different cuts of current clothes, colors, shirts, a purple, pink, white, yellow, black, red, green, sky blue, and blue. The woman with a niche to clean their beautiful shirts. Our teacher said all students had to go to the New Year celebration day. If not, we had to pay five bucks to our teacher, 25 cents in the American money. Especially on Korean New Year day, all Korean people wore their shirts. The men wore a shirt, legging and scarf. We have many different caps of legging, as red, purple, black, green, and blue. The woman wore a shirt, saran, and scarf. We have many different caps of saran, as red, white, yellow, green, black, purple, blue, and sky blue. The young girls who not marry yet wore a low crush shirt. The crew women are usually with to make their clothes. They also need to make their shirts beautiful. In Thailand, Mama taught me how to weave and knit. It would take four days to make a shirt and a week for zero. I can weave and knit to clean my beautiful current clothes all by myself. Most Korean people wear the Korean shirts when they go to church. I love to sing in the church. Every week on Saturday, I have to go to the youth pastor's house to pray a son for a study. In my church, KCFC, all of you choose me to become a youth single leader, so I need to find a song for them every week for Sunday. Why do I want to be in the U.S.? I have many reasons. My brother and my sister were already here, so we had to follow them. 
and I wanted to learn more and study more to improve my English. Everything was new for me when I arrived here. The weather is very different, but I love to live here because we have a chance to do everything we want. Also, my parents are very old and I need to look after them. If they have an appointment to the cleaners, they catch good by themselves. I need to prepare for all of them. My brother and sister have no time to look after them because they have a job and have to work hard every day. We all are happy to live in U.S. even if the weather is very cold. Creation and traditional clothes are very special for me because they are my clothes and culture and I love it so much.